Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Welcome to another episode of The View from the Afternoon. Some of the most consistent content we've ever put out. I'm joined once again by Mary Kellis. Hello. Um, the episode where you went over my diary went down a storm, maybe. We recorded it five minutes ago. <laughs> so I can only hope it was entertaining and not completely self-indulgent. Um, how are you doing, Mary? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. How are you? What are we going to talk about today? So this is my diary from 2008, so I was 12. I think it's 2003. Oh yeah, 2008, you're yeah. right. So if you just look at the front of the diary, you've got some of my favourite people at the time. McFly, uh, Pete Wentz, Dougie specifically, Danny from McFly, and of course, Vicarious Visions, everyone's <laughs> favourite publisher. Should we just dig straight into this? Let's go. Right, let me try and find a comfortable position. All right, so let's just so you, it's kind of like a... Okay, so you've written... One of the first things you've written in the diary, Nissan Primera Estate, um, under the car details. <laughs> I don't know why there's a car details section, but it is in there. Uh, so this is like quite a formal style. That Oh my God, this handwriting is fucking atrocious. Jesus. Right, we're going to get... Year of the rat, you've said. So, Well, it's New Year's Eve today and it's been awful. I love my artwork and take pride in it. I try so hard, but Dad and Rob <laughs> always pick out at least two faults and then laugh at me. And I've had, had enough. <laughs> so I took my art book and went upstairs. I could hear my family laughing at me and I cried to myself. <laughs> Rob came up and made fun of me. So I yelled at him to get lost. But mum heard and says I have to stay in my room and I'm not allowed to stay up till midnight tonight. But she might let us. Complete surprise. Mum never mentioned anything about it. Stayed up till 12. <laughs> what a wanker you used to You would have just drawn some shit and I'd have laughed at it. I was so sensitive though. Imagine well, that. Well, I've made you hard skin. Yeah. Right. This was a better world we lived in where you could criticise people and you could challenge people. And now we live in a world where everything's got to be fine. I'm glad we live in that world now because that, that hurt my feelings. January 1st. So it's almost like a double bill, this. It cut, like it says here you stayed up till 12 and then straight away you're like <laughs> on to January 1st. It's midnight on BBC One. The Big Ben struck 12. The Big Ben. To be honest, I'm a bit tipsy. There are lots of fireworks. It was really good. Me and mum and dad all kissed to welcome the new year. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. It's now 5.30 p.m. Hasn't been a bad day today, but neither a good day. In the morning, we went looking for a sofa. We don't need one, to be honest. I'm a little worried about money and things. I know I'm just 12, but I can't help it. <laughs> Wait, the world <laughs> Bless shoulders. your little cotton socks. <laughs> You little sweetheart. January 2nd. Good thing about this is it starts at the start of the year. Yeah, I'm like yours. You've got a lot in here, mate. You know, it might just turn to a random page. Matty dumped me, says I'm frigid. <laughs> 12 years old. Um, January 2nd. I don't want to go back to school on Monday. These girls are so mean on MSN. They call me bitch and tell me to fuck off. Can I name these girls? Name them, shame them. Gabby and Helen and Sophie and and all their mates hate me because I'm unique. <laughs> <laughs> and in PE, it's embarrassing because they laugh at me. I will avoid them, but it's so hard. As I write, they swear at me on MSN. <laughs> I went shopping today and bought some sexy PJs <laughs> and kind of briefs and a thong oh, mix. So sorry, now, I just want to say I'm very uncomfortable reading <laughs> that. This is not only my sister, but a 12 year old. <laughs> Are you setting me up for failure here? I can assure you that they wouldn't have actually been. You know, it would have <laughs> Let's been move in my on mind. to yeah. January 3rd. This is already a great diary. Good. This Good. might be a multi episode piece. January 3rd, I got up and it was snowing. I phoned mum, she was at the White Rose, and she said I could meet her in McDonald's. So I got ready and I didn't want to get a coat on because I was too warm. So I wore my hoodie instead. When mum saw me, she got mad. She was in a bad mood. She said it makes, she said 
She makes me go to bed like a baby at times, and it's 9 p.m. If I say something against, then she will say I miss know-it-all, and she says that I always have to know best. I hate it. And you've written I hate it there in big letters. Such a, this is just my outlet to vent. because Clearly. Today has been good. Me and mum and Ben went to the White Rose. I love Ben. He's two years old tomorrow. So this is little Ben, yeah. not big Ben. <laughs> the clock you referenced previously. <laughs> He's a darling. Sadly, I find out I won't be seeing him anymore because his mum changed the hours to 9-3. So this is a kid that... That mum used to child mine for you. Yeah. At the White Rose, I bought two pairs of knickers. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> for God's oh. sake, Mary, you're really ruining this for me. The first says... <laughs> oh, no. Watch me wiggle on the back. It's a 12 slash 14. I'm usually an 8 to 10. You've drawn a little picture of them. It's in that shape as well. Uh, is there? Can I just ask? Do you think there's any genuine like weird shit in here that I shouldn't be reading? No, I doubt it. Well, you've drawn little pictures of underwear <laughs> here. Uh, oh. oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that because it, yeah, it, it just I mean yeah. it's a we'll lose lose in it that one. Appreciate it. J- January fifth. <laughs> I went to Home Bargains in Morley and I didn't buy a lot. I saw Scott Tarpy in my form and Keaton Sharp from Primary and me and mum have been watching Prime Suspect. That's it for that day. Number six. I mean, January six. It was okay today. I spent half the time worrying about school and Mr. Borum. I can't get a lot of sleep because I have butterflies. I got some new trainers. They are Adidas. Mr. Borum was our maths teacher was the scariest man his his voice just boomed and once because rob was in year 11 and i was in year when i was in year seven and i saw him in the corridor um and we were talking and before a lesson and mr borum just got me into a room and he just screamed at me for talking to you like I still remember it now, how it made me feel he was the scariest it's guy. interesting because i think like i didn't like him but he was probably all right he was probably quite like I remember him having like banter and stuff, but it never landed with me. Well, I had him in when I was like in year ten, eleven. I was he was sound there. running. Yeah, but it, back then he I must was have just been like, intimidating, tall. Up. Yeah. January seventh, got up at quarter to seven, listening to CDs and stuff. Don't want to go to school. I'm wearing my new trainers though. It wasn't as bad today as I thought it would be, but it was still rubbish. In art, Jordan at Robinson, <laughs> Robertson made fun of me because of who I am inside. <laughs> And Sophie Palmer, the fat spotty bitch, was jumping on the bandwagon. It's PE tomorrow. I hate PE. Whenever I accentuate, by the way, you've written it in like big caps. Tuesday the 8th. Today was okay, I guess. Jordan Robinson made fun of my new trainers and I went to the art club and did a good picture with oil pastel of a sunset and a tree and a calm river. I thought it looked really good. I'm leaving a line because it looks much neater and you've left a line in between each sentence Job that I didn't you've drawn. show that, uh, that picture to you or dad, didn't it? <laughs> Too that right. confidence would have been destroyed. Yeah, rightfully so. <laughs> Character building. Uh, Thursday the 10th, you've skipped the 9th. I went to art club and drew a blossom tree in oil pastel and it wasn't today fair. It wasn't, it wasn't totally fair because in history we had an end of unit test and I only got a 4A because I went to guitar lessons so I only got 10 minutes to do my test and everybody else had 50 minutes well you shouldn't have gone to a fucking guitar lesson then should you I've never seen you hold a guitar in your life I went to guitar lessons for about 6 months and I didn't even learn one like I don't even know what you'd call it a chord I, I was so bad at trying to get my head around it and I, my nails are too long but I wouldn't cut them <laughs> It would have affected me more. <laughs> this is a really funny diary. And I think this would make a good animation. Like a Carl's diary? Yeah. yeah. People keep making fun of me for my new trainers and saying that they are Gola and they're clearly <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> I went to the White Rose with mum and had a McFlurry with Smarties. I don't like the crunchy one. Crunchy's shite. I agree. Today was okay. Mum went to Morley and got loads of sweets and we watched a film called Tenacious D. It was amazing. 
So you wrote crap, crossed it out, and then it says, amazing. I've been on Rob's PS3 on the internet. It's really high in technology. No wonder it was 300 pounds. Monday the 14th. It's no fun living in the dark. My light bulb's gone out. The only light I have is from the computer screen. In September, it was World Book Day and we ordered books. Everyone got a book for free. I picked I Coriander. It is really good. They arrived today. So they only took four months to arrive. Fucking hell. Tuesday the 15th of January. It was good because in PE, we didn't have to get changed. We just discussed levels and stuff. In English, I did my presentation. It was where me and Matasha made a product called Sprayer of Paper. It was really sad. I don't remember that at all. January 16th. PE was cancelled again because Miss Nelson wasn't here. I have raised four pounds so far with sponsors, mum and gran. I plan to earn more though. It was Mrs. Firth's lesson in English. We just read silently and it was really relaxing. Oh, she was lovely, Mrs. Firth. Amazing. Really nice teacher. I remember crying to her down the phone. January 18th. It was the last day of the readathon, and I've managed to read Girls in Love, Girls Out Lay, Stella, etc., Sweet Talking TJ, Frankie Peaches, and me. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> well done, Mary. Thank you. Quite the academic. Yeah, I love that. We went to Morley and I bought a new rug for my room and some black nail polish. We had our Sunday dinner as well and we watched The Green Mile by Stephen King. Oh, Great film. Gripping. Like the drink, but not spelt the same. Yeah. Sunday. I watched Nancy Drew today. It was brilliant. I'm wearing a new top that was too small for mum, but fits me perfect. I'll wear it with my black nail varnish. <laughs> you diva. Too small for mum. I was 12. <laughs> Mum was wishful thinking, wasn't she? <sighs> You're right. January 1st. Uh, January 21st. I had a shower this morning and unfortunately Mr. Newton, my student training teacher for maths, is leaving. So we have to have Mr. Boren back. After school, me, mum and dad went to Crown Point and bought a new coat. It should have been £65 from TK Maxx. It was reduced to £25. I need a new coat because it's raining really bad non-stop and the city centre has been flooded by the River Air. Did that happen? Un un doubtful. <laughs> Wednesdays are the best day of the school week apart from Friday, but I got beat up after school by Jessica Watt. She oh. grabbed me, slapped me across the face. Mum phoned school. I have to go see my head teacher, Mrs. Ellis, tomorrow. Oh, God. That was, that was sad, that. Oh my she, god! I, no. did, I won't really say I got beat up, yeah. Well, she did. She came, she kind of jumped on my back, and like from like being on my back, like happy slapped me quite a lot. But it it, it felt like I got beat up. So tough times when you're in year seven. Seven. Yeah. In form, I saw Miss Ellis with Natasha. We had to write a statement. Jessica got a day in inclusion, and I hope she has learned the lesson. The fat bitch. <laughs> Shots fired. It was good today because there's this boy, Charlie North. He was my boyfriend. We talked on MSN all the time, but he dumped me. We went out for about three months. I'm still crazy about him. He was really nice. And then you've retrospectively written, crossed out uh, nice and written awful. Oh, God. He, he still... I still am his current girlfriend. I dumped him, so I might ask him to go out again soon. Interesting. Mm. Uh, Sunday. It was awful today. I felt crap when I woke up. Blocked nose. And mum went out, and our car got smashed up because a car was parked behind our car. Another car smashed into the car behind <laughs> us, and the car rolled into us. Cops won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. We uh, we pay, they paid us off, so we won't uh, yeah, claim on insurance. So it was t some young lads yeah. driving illegally. 28th, this Monday. Charlie asked me back out as he dumped Becky Rose because he wanted to be my boyfriend instead. Something dreadful just happened. The guys that hit our car came knocking on our door at 10 p.m. yesterday and have come knocking tonight at 5 p.m. asking for dad. He said he has his hard mates with him and has a hard dad. He said he doesn't want dad to make a claim and I think 
he's so hard he will burn our house down i'm so scared (laughs) and then the next one says today is tuesday which is the worst i hate pe I hate PE as well. It was so well, it was, shit. It's almost like child trips. abuse that they make you do that in school. I'm telling you, really, like, like making you get changed, uh, just oh. making you get changed. Like I was self conscious as a kid because yeah. I was skinny, yeah. and no one really bullied me or anything. But that doesn't matter. No, it's horrible. I honestly think it, it's child cruelty. It PE is, yeah. should be opt out. Yeah, and they learn actually. By the time I was in year, well, obviously not. But when I was in year, I was doing fucking bowling and rock climbing. Really? Yeah. What? Up. One P we went to the cinema. Jesus. Thursday thirty first. It was so funny because in music they're doing keyboards. There was a button on the keyboard that was a disc. I wondered what oh. it would do. I had my headphones in, so I thought I would be the only one hearing it. I pressed it. I did not know my headphones didn't work, and it said DJ, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> really loud across the classroom. Mister Twits got super <laughs> angry. Lol. <laughs> Oh, that DJ. was so good. And Everyone it, would just of course, yeah. press that. And it, it, it's impossible for him to know who, which keyboard is like making that sound. So. <laughs> Got triangulated. Oh my kind of, God, that was funny. Do you remember you used to hate it when you'd go <laughs> along all the keys? <laughs> yeah, they were like a valid musical cute. expression if used in the right way. But he was just shutting that down as if it's <laughs> never to be, you know, Elton John does that. Every fucking yeah. Friday, February 1st. It was guitars. I made. It was guitars. I made my way to music with David. Matty wasn't here, so the door wouldn't open, and David kicked the door in. It was so funny. He didn't mean to. We're now learning Bad Moon Rising, <laughs> CCR classic. I woke up with mum and I woke up. Mum and dad were out. I went downstairs, and all of the garden was covered in snow. I went outside and made a snowman with Mia. I love her so much. That's the cat. It was a cat. <laughs> Mum came back and we went to Morley. I went in Cairo. And this is a bit that reveals a big bit about your personality. The goth shop. Yeah. And I bought six badges. They are wicked. But they're oh. quite dark, mosher stuff. <laughs> you just wouldn't understand. And you've spelt wicked, W-K-D. <laughs> this morning, we all went to Auntie Mel's to see Tiger. As he was so poorly, he had to be put down. So I went to school, came home. Mum told me he had died as soon as Auntie Mel picked him up. R.I.P. Tiger, 18 years old. He was a fucking nice cat in concept. But Jesus. He was Do you know what? Dare I say Somewhat neglected. <laughs> yeah, but you do know that what I've written there isn't the truth. No. I only found out the truth for years. What is the truth? About what happened to Tiger. What? You don't know what gra- about what Grandma did. No, what did Grandma do? So we lived next door to our grandma and our auntie, and my auntie owned the cat Tiger. And Tiger was a long haired cat, and he always yeah. used to shit, and it would get stuck in his hair, and it was it. There was only so much that we could do, do that, about yeah. it, really. He was he was an outdoor cat predominantly, so he didn't really want to be in and all that kind of stuff. So he was fucked by the time it came to his demise. The mic, move the mic. Oh, sorry, I thought you would wanted a beer. <laughs> no, I won't just ask you for a beer while you're speaking. <laughs> so, so he was. It was it was the end of his life. He was suffering. Mm-hmm. Um, but my auntie just didn't want to take him to the vet. Or she couldn't take him to the vet for whatever reason. It's I don't think she had a vets. way to get there. Not my no way to get there. It's fucking up the road. All right, all right. So he was suffering. She brought him round to my grandma. Let's just skip this story. I think it'll be <laughs> funnier if we just carry on and, and just skip this one. Let's see what else we got. So <laughs> write in the comments what you think happened. Um, February 8th, 2008. Broke up today only for a week, but so what? <laughs> so you're obviously buzzing. Uh, Saturday the 9th. I went to the fair with Natasha. It was ace. I'm off on Monday with my boyfriend. I'll tell you more about it on Monday. Can't wait. <laughs> Here we go. Sunday. My brother got me in, My brother got me into trouble. He made me cry by pushing me down on the floor, standing on me. And slapping me, and he nipped me. I've got big bruises, and he, and he cried when Dad asked me why I was crying. So I fucking got done. 
<laughs> Mum says she might not let me go to the fair. And if I do, I'll probably only get five pounds. I fucking hate Rob. <laughs> what a little wanker. You know, I refuse to believe I was doing that to you in year 11. Year 11. Think again. You were a fucking asshole. You really were. And the fact is that whenever I complained, I would get done because you'd they'd be like, oh, poor Robbie's crying. Well, I'll get you a free ticket to Leeds Fest this year to make right, up for it. And we're, we're even. Yeah. Um, fuck me, that's horrible. Um, yeah. February 11th. At the fair, me and Katie met Alex and Charlie, and me and Charlie didn't talk much, which was unfortunate. I went on about six rides, the Sizzler, tr- Sizzler Twist, Freak Out, Beach Party, Sticky Wall, Crazy Mouse, and Big Wheel. <laughs> I'm fed up because of Jake and Kieran come at 8.30 a.m., and Jake always shouts on the morning and wakes me up. It's my holiday, and I can't even have a lion. <laughs> Fucking year seven. Wednesday. We went to Fun City today and I took little Ben on the big slide. It was hard having him about. Mum got Juno from Dave. It was Ace. Do you, oh. mem- do you remember Dave? DVD Dave. He lived around the corner and he just used to pirate DVDs and he did three for ten pound. So we'd go around me and Mum all the time and choose some new releases and some of the things that he used to sell. Like, was he the guy who we got <laughs> Finding Nemo 3 on? No, that was from a car boot. I, I can remember the distinct smell of those uh, DVD cases. They were made of, like, the cheapest plastic. Yeah. Thursday the 14th. I somehow slept through Jake shouting and woke up at 10 a.m. I went to the new library and got a thing where you can put your books in a tray and put your card in the slot and then get a receipt and take them out. It's ace. Wow. That's some kind of self-service library system. Yesterday, I went to the library and got three books. There's one called Elsewhere, and it's gripping. It's about a girl who dies, and she doesn't realize it until she awakes on a cruise ship. The ship's going to an island called Elsewhere. It's an afterlife island. Today, mum bought me two bras from Primark. One is padded a bit with ace bright butterflies. They aren't babyish at all. Can I just say, I actually remember this. I was off school for the day because I'd like pretended to be poorly. We were in Primark and I'd started crying, begging mum, please can I have a mum? like, you don't need a bra. I was like 12 and she bought me them. And if they had fucking butterflies on, I think they probably were a bit babyish. In science, we got to watch Miss Dunn parachuting. It was so funny. (sighs) There's a quiz on www.bbc slash slink.com, a domain that wouldn't work because it's got a slash in the middle of it. It's super. When I used to go to Beeston Primary, there was a girl in 6S my year called Grace Holroyd. She was at a stage school, and I found her in the paper today. And there's a newspaper clipping. Of young Grace, bless her. Uh, she's looking very happy there. Some comic signs. A beast and 12-year-old has quite literally left her mark on an Arriva bus after winning a competition in a seat design contest. Wow. Big up, Grace. Well done, Grace. Hope the design career's going well. February 22nd. I need excitement in my life. <laughs> I want a boyfriend who talks to me at school. And who's always with me, like Nathan and Charlotte. They're inseparable. Charlie just doesn't have that. But I really like him. I don't want to dump him. I wish I knew what to do. Sad face. God, how dramatic was my life? I've not seen one of them for a fucking long time. Oh, shit. Last night, my ear was hurting. I couldn't lay on it. So today I came home at dinner. The council are putting railings up all around the houses. So they've dug up the hedges and it looks awful. Here is the pass I got, and then Mary's included a sticker uh, or stuck in the authorised absence pass from Coburn College of Arts. I love that they've put West Yorkshire Police logo on there <laughs> to make it seem like, whoa, don't be caught yeah. truant in without this. <laughs> you go to the fucking night in the slammer for you, Missy. You won't have a lie in there. 
When I came home from school, I got the shock of my life. Near the post box, I looked to the right and I could see my bedroom window. The council had taken our fence down. Today's the windiest day in Britain. So loads of litters in our garden. Mum's really upset. <laughs> Fucking big problems. It's all relative. Oh, no. February 22nd. Oh, fuck. I dumped Charlie because we never talk. I sent it in a text. You said, don't say I never talked to you. To be truthful, I only went out with you because I felt sorry for you because you was going in a beef all the time. Knife to the heart. I'm totally not bothered though. He's a bastard. Grandma's been taken to hospital with a blood clot in her <laughs> leg. I'm really worried. The most important thing comes first. So. <laughs> well, she's the feature the next day. Grandma's been at hospital and she needs to inject herself daily to break up the blood clot. Our gardens don't look any better. In fact, they look worse. <laughs> Everything looks worse when your grandma's got a blood clot in her leg. I went to a sleepover at Shannon's house at 6 p.m. Me, Katie, Georgina and Charlotte were there. We went to Pizza Express in town. All the lights were dimmed. For starters, I got dough balls and then a small margarita pizza. And for dessert, I ordered toffee fudge sundae. It was delicious. All the lights were dimmed. Someone has never been to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Andrew was there, not sweating. <laughs> it says on uh, March the 1st, just I feel crap. And you've drawn a little poo. Sunday 2nd. I got mum some candle holders and some lavender bath stuff. She really liked it. Rob, uh, Rob bought her a Curb Your Enthusiasm DVD season one. We walked Trudy's dog patch and it was lovely. I got two comments today for not doing my geography homework. Uh, and one for giving Miss Harper 60p. Not giving. Not giving Miss Harper 60p. Why would you get a written comment in your planner for not giving teachers some money? She was a food tech teacher. So if you don't bring your money for your ingredients, then you're gonna get done. But because you keep your food, I don't even I don't even know if you're allowed to make it if you didn't bring <laughs> one or the other. Number five, uh, March five. I'm fed up. I was watching Scrubs. Kieran came in. It was ten minutes to the end, and Mum made me put the land before <laughs> time on for Kieran. <laughs> Mum never lets me watch what I want. When Kieran's here, it's all about what he wants. I, I get it, but 10 minutes to go. Come on, Mum. Fuck's Come on, Mum. Mr. Jackson died a week ago. I came home at 10.30, went to his funeral. It's the first one I've been to. The coffin was decorated lovely. I found out more about, about his life. It's quite sad. But when I die, I don't want people to be crying and upset because it would make me upset. I want people to remember the good and funny times. Aww, that was pretty profound, so you know. I like that. In history, we're doing a project on castles and Mr. Johnson lets us listen to iPods and music. Don't know why, but I'm not complaining. I paid my deposit to go for, to go to Staithes. It's 160 quid, but it'll be worth it. Five nights. Wow, what a trip. 160 big uns for that Ain't shitter. Auntie Mel has broken her ribs. Two of them and one of them is bruised. She's in a lot of pain. She was playing bowling on the Wii and she fell into a corner <laughs> cabinet <laughs> auntie mel what you like <laughs> wow now this is a angsty angsty one it just simply says i hate miss harper so much she's so <laughs> ignorant and impatient <laughs> i don't remember miss harper fucking bitch. march 12th i've been i have I have a training day today because it's family focused day and I got 10 A1s. It goes like this. A1 is outstanding work. A2 is good work. A3 is satisfactory. A4 is poor work. Miss Strike says, I'm a mature young lady. Afterwards, dad got me and Rob a Burger King. <laughs> you were riding on my coattails there, <laughs> weren't you? Well, you know what? You tell what you can get. I did my jump rope for heart today in unit one and two. I raised £10 and skipped for one hour and 20 minutes. Now, that's some minimum wage <laughs> shit right there. Yeah. Jesus. Saturday 15th. I went shopping with Natasha. I got four lucky bags from Claire's. And I got over £50 worth of stuff in it. At retail, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I left at 12.30, but Nat stayed. 
Mum got a call from Nat's mum saying Nat had been arrested. I couldn't believe it. She stole a jumper from Primark and admitted it. Thank God I left when I did. <laughs> Mate, thank fuck I left. I remember being stood in the kitchen. It was so serious because they would have thought I had something to do with it as well, like mum and dad, obviously. But I was, I was counted out, thank God. <sighs> you avoided the life of crime. Yeah. March 17th. At school, I have a bunch of good mates. Natasha, David, Matty, Josh. The thing is, I've really been able, been able to fancy Matty, but it's not just a crush. I love him. <laughs> when it's not our seating plan and we have a supply teacher, we always sit with each other and then you draw some hearts. Aww. In drama, Matty and me had to work in separate groups. But today he kept coming over to me. It's really fun. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bless you. It is fun when you're young and going through those motions. In our last lesson, which was art, we had a supply teacher and we had to go in a science room and I sat with Matty and he asked me out. I'm so happy. <laughs> March 20th. I broke up from school today and Matty has been really nice. I'm so in love. Wow. And then retrospectively, you've gone and crossed that out. <laughs> Foreshadowing that. Aye. March 21st. I went shopping with Shannon. And I wanted to get a new hoodie for school. I didn't want a plain one. And I wanted one with a zip. I found one in New Look. And it was in the sale. It was white with blue stripes. It said £6, but it was only £4. Shannon invited me to sleep over. I put a tiny bit of eyeliner on. And mum kept saying it looked awful. And that 12-year-old shouldn't wear makeup. She treats me like a baby. And never lets me wear anything good. Now she won't speak to me. I hate her. <laughs> Mum has calmed down. I suppose I don't hear it. It was just the heat at the moment. We <laughs> could clarify that. I went to the shop and bought a red hoodie. It said, rocking in LA. Stripy black, red letters. Oh my God. I love it. You used to rinse me for that. Do you remember? Mm -mm. No. A poser even back then. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight we watched a comedy called Meet the Spartans. Mum didn't like it. I did though. It was really funny. I don't remember that. It's at all. fucking shit. <laughs> it's like epic movie. Awesome. It's like a parody film where every 20 seconds it's just making a different pop culture reference. It's dog shit. I watched it a couple of years ago, like with Jake, because he had it on DVD. Mum ordered me a waistcoat from eBay. It's black and is in a size 10, originally bought from Topshop. It arrived today. I'm wearing it now. It's lovely. Rob got a package too. It was condoms and lubricants for gay men. It was so funny. We don't know who it's from though. That took a turn. Today I went to Fun City. It was with Ben and I had a whale of a time. I took him on the big slides. He's really heavy and my arms are aching. I got a letter. It was very exciting and I don't usually get them. Here's what it said. Hello, Mary. I'm sorry, but we are only funded to post condoms to men. The <laughs> contraception and sexual health should be able to help you out. And they've written your number there and signed by Tom. Rob must have signed me up for some. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Joseph got a film from Dave called The Mist by Steve <laughs> or DVD Dave. The Mist from Stephen King. We borrowed it, but it wouldn't work. So we bought a new TV from Curry's. It's a Sony 37 inch UHD LCD and it's black and it's gorgeous. And it wow. wasn't UHD because, oh no, HD LCD you've written. And that's the TV that's in Danny's room right now. Is it? Yep. Oh, wow. I went to the pub with Joseph, mum and Auntie Mel and Laura and Uncle Jason. Laura is Joe's girlfriend. I like her, I suppose. They don't go out anymore, so that's all right. Today I got a package from eBay. It came for mum. It was a Wentworth wooden jigsaw all the way from Houston. H-E-U-S-T-O-N. So I saved the stamps. They were really nice. I'm on a diet. I'm seven stone, 2.6 pounds, and I'm aiming to be six stones. I'm eating five a day and no sweets. That's probably from all the pressure from you. Well, keep at it. <laughs> April 3rd. Today I went shopping with Katie. I bought mum's birthday presents and some earrings that look like zips. They're ace. <laughs> they were cool then. 
Today's mum's birthday. I got her a white musk gift set, a bouquet of fake roses, and some imperial leather bubble baths. Bubble bath. She liked it lots. Last night I was sick. I woke up at 1 a.m. and was sick from the top of my high bed. It went everywhere. I feel lousy. Yesterday was the Grand National. I bet on snowy morning. It came third and I got five quid. Get up, boy. Oh, April 7th. Back at school today. At least I got to see my mates. I finished my cushion cover in textiles. I've been hanging out with Shan and Matty and David today. Today was good. On the way home, Chris, Matty and Gethin were having a right laugh. Matty was really nice to me and we hugged and said goodbye. Chris goes down the street and I go down. We saw a man pushing a buggy full of Pepsi. It was really funny. <laughs> we still talk about that to this day. What? It was just, he had a pram. No baby in there, just like a... 24 pack of Pepsi <laughs> where the baby should be. <laughs> Literally like Carl's diary. <laughs> yeah. I'm so upset. My mobiles got lost at school. I saw Charlotte and Katie and Matty smoking together. Mum's in a massive mood with me. She's really angry and doesn't want to even look at me. I can't stop crying. Matty's dumped me. I just want to hang myself. <laughs> Nothing is going right. Fuck. Today's been a better day. <laughs> I've had a side party slash fringe. I went to the dentist this morning at 9.30. I'm having braces. When I got to school, I went to guitar lessons and Matty said he was really sorry. Aww. I appreciate a man who can own up to his actions because <laughs> I still can't. Today was good. Matty axed me out and I said, yep. Aww. I thought you were already going out. You just dumped me. That's why I went to oh, yeah. myself. I changed science groups today from G1 to B2 and Matty's in that class. Today was ace. It's fucking life and times of Matty. <laughs> All right, here we go. Today was the best day ever. Leanne wasn't at school. So in English, me and Matty kept chatting and I went to Shannon's house straight after. Matty lives on her street and I slept over at Shan's. It was really dark with a big full moon. Matty was so sweet. He kept hugging me. And if his mate Danny said oh, bad about me, he stuck up for me. Everyone had gone inside for a minute and it was really romantic because we was just hugging and looking at the stars. Bless. Oof. That is sweet. Is, is this Matty nice. Bateson? No, no. It's Ma Matty Sharp. No, it's not <laughs> Matty yeah, Sharp. Sharp. No. I forgot I used to work with him. I forgot you used to work with him. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Go on, Matty lad. <laughs> Thanks for being a considerate lad. <laughs> I'm like that Matty Bates <laughs> April 19th We played on the trampoline with Matty and Danny It was really fun Todd came today and What Todd does is his own business <laughs> The teachers are going on strike So we get Thursday, Friday and Monday off It's ace I hate Tuesdays The lessons are crap mm. Mm. <coughs> Pardon me I was school today It was good I went to Shannon's house straight from school. We called for Matty. It was fun. Me and Matty play this thing where we jab each other in the back, but I accidentally caught his ear and he's not speaking to me. <laughs> World's shittest aim. Fuck you know. God, it, did I just use to hang out with Shannon just to go because she lived on my street? I got a text from Matty saying he was just joking. Sorry, wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> it's written in blue felt tip. Matty forgave me. I didn't write it in, but someone's ripped out seven pages. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> probably probably you. I got eight new badges. I'll draw them here. One's a skull. One's just a checkerboard. One says, shit happens. <laughs> Edgy. And then one says, I can't remember the others. Just look at them then. <laughs> right, so we're getting to some blank pages here. Matty dumped me, says I'm frigid. We've been to that already. Here we go. After school, me, mum, me and mum went shopping for some of my stath stuff. I got two plain t-shirts, a cap, and some bottle bottoms and a comfort suit. I slept at Shannon's, and Matty was there. We're mates still. Oh my god! Liam W J just sent me his and Matty's MSN convos. It says that Matty is toying with me and that he fancies this gorgeous girl called Beth. I hate them all. <laughs> I take that back, Matty Sharp, you prick. <laughs> oh my God. I'm feeling better about Matty because I got the wrong end of the stick. 
I've got new things for stairs. I can't wait to go. Today was okay, I guess. Did you get the wrong end of the stick or were you just gaslit? I remember that he definitely, definitely did fancy it. So fuck you, Matty, for gaslighting the fuck out of me. Good lad, Matty. <laughs> treat, treat him mean, my boy. <laughs> I got Laura to write me an excuse for pee and it worked. I didn't have to do it. We had Mrs. Grist for music today. <laughs> Mrs. Grist is a supply teacher that no one takes seriously. <laughs> Poor woman. I listened to my iPod all lesson, lol. <laughs> I did in maths too. In English, we were reading this ace book called Abomination. Everyone used to call her Tankhead. And she used to like cry. Tankhead. And we used to Who like... the fuck's Mrs. Grist? I went to the same school as you. I've never heard of Mrs. Grist. She was Grist. there very shortly. I think that we all put like... That must have given her lasting scars. Like she was traumatised by us. Just get over yourself. Love your teaching like year sevens. <laughs> like you're an adult. Rise above. Oh, it's not the job for you. If a year seven calling you tank head, which is the shitty, like, do you know what? The way to, the way to, the way to be a good teacher is just get, go along with the banter. Yeah. Innit? Look at me. Remember like Mr. Wright? Yeah. Oh, he was just, fucking just, brutal and just funny. dish it out. Yeah. If it comes your way, dish it out and yeah. have a good rapport. In it. Technically it's my last day of school for two weeks because I'm at stairs till the 23rd and everyone breaks up on the 23rd. So I have two weeks off. I've packed today. It'll be really good. How did you take your diary? I think so. you did. Today, before we set off for stairs, we went to Yeadon Town for water sports. In my first group endeavour, I did raft building. I fell off my raft head first and my oar got stuck. As I said, I'm doing endeavours with Emily, Dixon, Shannon, Alex, Jake, Stuart, Hannah, Jess, Watt, I'm good mates with her now, and Anna Holden. This morning for breakfast, I had sausage, bacon and a waffle. I sat with Emily, Jake, Shannon, <laughs> Hannah and Jess. After, we went to an iron mining museum and I bought some shark teeth, an embroidered purse and an ammonite. The exact type of shit that I would have bought, <laughs> minus the purse. Today, we went to Gisborough Forest to do activities. I did all sorts of walking and then mountain biking. It was really good exercise, but after that, we got McDonald's, so it doesn't really count. It's been the best day so far. We went to Whitby. There was a street with five shops and we were allowed to wander off from there. There was a huge gift shop, a rock shop, a Royal National Lifeboat Association shop and three amusements after we got fish and chips. Aww. I remember doing that as well yeah, in school. Yeah, such a good trip that. I came home today and mum came to get me from school and helped me carry my bags. I gave out my presents and mum went into the pub. It says whistle stop, but I didn't think yeah. to specify May 28th, day before my birthday. Jake isn't coming today because last night we went to his dad's house and his girlfriend's 14-year-old son... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe skip that one, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Should I read that? Definitely not. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's fucking mental. That was... Let me read it just in my head. All right, all right, all right. Fuck me, that's literally bad. I still fancy Matty like mad. He fancies someone else. I'm looking through you while you're looking through your phone. Just leaving. I haven't wrote in my diary for ages. Sorry. Today we had a big maths test. It was really hard. From unit one to four. In science, we went to the lab and burnt fuels with Bunsen burners. I nearly set Shannon on fire. Definitely didn't. <laughs> the last time I went to the dentist, they wanted me to have braces. So I got a letter from the orthodontist and my appointment is on Wednesday the 18th at 11.45. It's Friday the 13th, which is very unlucky. I came home from school and I trapped my finger in the chair. I had a big dent in it and it really hurt. Mum's just told me that we're having Sophie george's oldest sister for the six week holidays i hope she has to work in my holiday it's father's day tomorrow and i haven't got dad anything i said i'll go shopping with katie mum gave me a tenner i spent it in about one hour and a half searching for something all i could find was this big box of heroes mum <laughs> said <laughs> mum said i mum went mad saying i'm selfish <laughs> Dad, who just wouldn't have wanted that at all. Of course he wouldn't. 
Well, <laughs> today I painted my nails bright green and bright orange. People call me Tic Tac <laughs> now. <laughs> I bought some Collection 2000 eyeliner and some bright green glitter. It glitters when it's on my eyes and you've put an attachment of your nail varnish like you've painted some of the varnish oh. in, into there. I had an exam today for English. I don't think I did too badly. Today was my orthodontist appointment. I arrived, I went into a room, they took some x-rays of my teeth. Next, me and dad had moulds made of our teeth and I had to bite down on this mould. It tasted awful. So anyway, I need braces. This one just starts with, I arrived today and there was an unusual morning assembly. In history, I sat with Nathan and he gave me some white chocolate Maltesers. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> It was a half day because we were standing down at one and we were allowed to go at 12. I went to Shannon's house and we called for Matty. Danny was there too. We went downstairs in Shannon's house. Matty and then Matty, then Matty went and talked to Danny asking him if he should ask me out again. Today, Trudy gave birth on Wednesday. <laughs> Baby Max weighed seven pounds and is showing us him on Monday. <laughs> Bad sentence. Um, I'm fed up because now every time I'm come, <laughs> this is good I'm fed up because now every time I come home Robert's there playing on his Xbox 360 on Guitar Hero it's always full blast and when I used to come home he used to be at school <laughs> stupid bitch Miss Nelson gave me a verbal I hate her <clears throat> I started my period today I had awful backache in history. When I got home for a week, it was there. I discovered it at 3.15 p.m. <laughs> what date was that? June 26th. Wow. First one? Yeah, starting period, yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember it well. Today at school, someone called me an idiot and I cried for about an hour. Weird. <laughs> I think I know why. <laughs> I think I've connected the dots here. I went shopping today with Caddy. Caddy? That was Katie, but I'd call the I had six pound and went to Claire's. They had 75% off sale, so I bought a gorgeous school bag. It should have been three pound, but it was reduced to one pound. I got some red lipstick for one pound. It should have been two pound. Wow, bargain. Working for Claire's here. <laughs> I wore my black lipstick for school today. The first thing Matty said to me was, you look like a Muppet. I was crushed. <laughs> I had a half day though, because it's sports day. My form got to go to Ellen Road Football Stadium and look around. We sat in the dugout where the manager seats. Lots of football seats there. Mm. It's a half day because the year sixes are coming to school. I want to change everything about myself. I want to be thin and pale and have black hair. I want to have no pale. spots or yellow teeth. <laughs> Beth looks like how I want to look. She has loads of really ace clothes. She's really individual. She always has a smile on her face. She's got lots of pale skin. <laughs> She's thin and has dyed jet black hair. So mm. Sad face. This is so embarrassing. I'm at the top of the class in English. I got a 6B. <laughs> Today's a talent show in units five and six. Miss Campbell hosted it. It was really funny. Jessica and Hannah won. When I came home, they bought me a DS game. It's called My Mental Health Coach. It's awesome. My Mental Health Coach. I don't it's like a Dr. Kawishima thing, isn't it? Rob found out that he got the job Working at Joe's work, he gets paid £8,000 a year. £666 a month. Unfair. Wow. Baller. I'll tell you what, though. That was like straight out of high school. Eight bags was not Eight to turn your nose for up. for a full-time job? Mm. I mean, I know I that was 16. inflation... No, I was 15. Oh, right. So the minimum wage is like £3. Yeah, yeah. That was good. And it was awful. I quit within two weeks. Fucking atrocious. Um... In form, someone nicked a Twix from Mr. Gill, and everyone can guess who, Jordan Tate. So the whole class had to stay for detention until someone owns up. Jordan didn't even show up for detention. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. <laughs> the teachers are on strike today, so we're all working. So all the working teachers were really stressed. Sophie thumped me in the chest today. Mm. <laughs> I've been on the phone with Josh Dale Bart and he told me he fancies me and I mean, I'm flattered, but you know, <laughs> we have missed strike till year nine. Boo hoo. 
Mum's agreed to pay me £15 a week to play with Sophie and be nice to her. <laughs> Who the fuck's Sophie? Let's call it here. Right. And we'll do the rest, because there's a significant amount more. There's enough for another episode of this. Cool. So we'll just sign this off. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, sorry for the slightly abrupt ending, but both cameras died. But there's enough content in Mary's diary, it turns out, for a second episode. So if you want that, please let us know. Thanks for coming on this deep dive of our childhood. And yeah, we'll see you next time. See Bye, you Mary. Guys. Bye.